John Ricardo I. Wan Cole is an American academic and commentator on the modern Middle East and South Asia. He is Richard P. Mitchell Collegiate Professor of History at the University of Michigan. Since 2002, he has written a weblog, Informed Comment which is also syndicated on truthdig.com. Background and Education Cole was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico. His father served in the United States Army Signal Corps. When Cole was aged two, his family left New Mexico for France. His father completed two tours with the U.S. military in France and won 18-month stay at Cagnew Station in Asmara, Eritrea. Cole was schooled at a variety of locations, 12 schools in 12 years, at a series of dependent schools on military bases but also sometimes in civilian schools. Some schooling occurred in the United States, particularly in North Carolina and California. Cole obtained his undergraduate degree at Northwestern University in 1975, having majored in history and literature of religions. For two quarters in his senior year he conducted a research project in Beirut, Lebanon and returned to the city as a graduate student in the fall of 1975, but the Civil War prevented Cole from continuing his studies there. Therefore, he pursued a master's degree at the American University in Cairo in Islamic and Middle Eastern Studies, graduating in 1978. Cole then returned to Beirut for another year and worked as a translator for a newspaper. In 1979 Cole enrolled at the University of California, Los Angeles as a doctoral student in the field of Islamic studies, graduating in 1984. After graduation, Cole was appointed assistant professor of history at the University of Michigan where he became a full professor in 1995. Cole was from a mixed Catholic and Protestant heritage but was brought up a non-denominational Protestant on army bases. In the late 1960s and the 1970s he became interested in Eastern religions, including Buddhism. He resigned from the faith in 1996 after disputes with Baha'i leadership concerning the Baha'i system of administration, especially demands by the administration to censor his writings. After 1996 he became uninterested in organized religion as a personal matter. Cole married Shahan Malik in Lahore in 1982. The couple has a son, Armin, born in 1987. Appointments and Awards Cole was awarded Fulbright Hayes Fellowships to India and to Egypt. In 1991 he held a National Endowment for the Humanities Grant for the Study of Shi Islam in Iran. From 1999 until 2004, Wan Cole was the editor of the International Journal of Middle East Studies. He has served in professional offices for the American Institute of Iranian Studies and on the editorial board of the journal Iranian Studies. He is a member of the Middle East Studies Association of North America and served as the organization's president for 2006. In 2006, he received the James Aronson Award for Social Justice Journalism administered by Hunter College, 1975, B.A., History and Literature of Religions, Northwestern University, 1978, M.A., Arabic Studies, History, American University in Cairo, 1984, Ph.D. Islamic Studies, University of California, Los Angeles, 1984-1990. Assistant Professor of History, University of Michigan, 1990-1995. Associate Professor of History, University of Michigan, 1992-1995. Director, Center for Middle Eastern and North African Studies, University of Michigan. 1995 to 2007 professor of history university of michigan 2007 present richard p mitchell collegiate professor of history university of michigan 2009 to 2012 director center for south asian studies university of michigan academic interests Cole became interested in Islam and Arabic while a teenager living in Eritrea when his father was stationed there. 
He studied Arabic at Northwestern University, in Beirut, at the American University in Cairo, and at the University of California, Los Angeles. His study included classical historical, theological and philosophical texts and classical and modern literature. He speaks Arabic, Persian, and Urdu, and reads the Ottoman form of the Turkish language. He also knows French, German and Spanish. Modern Egypt among Cole's major academic specializations has been the history of modern Egypt, including Sunni Islam. His second monograph was on a 19th century Egyptian revolt, and his fifth was on the French invasion and occupation of the country under Gen. Napoleon Bonaparte. Egypt was one focus of his engaging the Muslim world. He has authored nearly a dozen major journal articles and book chapters on Egypt, Shia Islam, Iran, Iraq and India. Modern Shia Islam has been a major preoccupation in Cole's scholarship. Native Shia communities stretch in an arc from Saudi Arabia to India, and Cole has written on various countries in this arc as well as on Islam in general, the secular history and politics of the region, and comparative studies. His first monograph was on the modern history of Shiism in North India. His fourth book was a treatment of modern Shia movements throughout South and West Asia. He has published over two dozen journal articles and book chapters on modern Shi Islam. Current Affairs History After September 11, 2001, Cole turned increasingly to writing on radical Muslim movements, the Iraq War, United States foreign policy, and the Iran crisis. His scholarship was influenced by his blog, Informed Comment, founded in 2002. He has pioneered in the field of what he calls not contemporary history, but current affairs history. See also, The Case for Current Affairs History, Khalil Gibran Translations Khalil Gibran is a well-known Lebanese-American poet, essayist, and artist who wrote in Arabic as well as English. Cole has translated three volumes of his Arabic-language literary writings. One of these, Broken Wings, is alleged to have been the first Arabic-language novel, and has early feminist themes, protesting against arranged marriage and religious corruption. Global Americana Institute After September 11 Cole founded the Global Americana Institute to translate works concerning the United States into Arabic. The first volume was selected works of Thomas Jefferson, translated for the first time into Arabic, and the second is a translation of a biography of Martin Luther King, Jr., along with selected speeches and writings. The Institute is partnering with Dar al saki Books in this series. Cole has successfully solicited contributions through his website to support the translations and publications. Baha'i studies having converted to the Baha'i faith in 1972, Cole devoted some of his academic research to the history of that tradition. He treated it in some journal articles and in his third monograph which, however, appeared after he had resigned from the religion after being threatened with being shunned by the Baha'i authorities who criticize his academic scholarship as materialistic. Early in his career Cole established contacts with a number of like-minded Baha'i scholars, whose discussions took on a life of their own with the rise of the Internet. For example, Cole created H. Baha'i, a website making available a wealth of difficult-to-obtain primary sources on the religion. Many of Cole's early writings on the Baha'i faith were for Baha'i presses or else for an online journal which he co-edited. Some of these were translations, including several unofficial scriptural translations and two volumes by about early Baha'i theologian Mirza Abul Fadl. He has maintained much of this material, as well as other documents and links, online, journalism and media appearances. Cole has written a great deal of journalism, although much more in the form of commentary than direct news gathering. From 2004 to 2009, Cole had a regular column at Salon. Since 2009, he has written semi-regularly for Trudzig and Tom Engelhart's TomDispatch.com. He has published op-eds on the Mideast at the Washington Post, Le Monde Diplomatique, The Guardian, the San Jose Mercury News, 
The San Francisco Chronicle, The Boston Review, The Nation, The Daily Star, Tycoon Magazine Cole has been a regular guest on the NewsHour at the PBS and has appeared widely on television shows such as Nightline, ABC Evening News, The Today Show, Anderson Cooper 360 Degrees, Late Edition with Wolf Blitzer, Al Jazeera and CNN Headline News, Charlie Rose, Fareed Zakaria GPS, The Rachel Maddow Show, The Colbert Report, Democracy Now!, and many others. With regard to radio, he has also been a frequent guest on National Public Radio and has been interviewed by Ian Masters, and has been interviewed by Terry Gross and Diane Rame, among many others. Cole was occasionally cited in the press as a Middle East expert in the 1990s. He became much more prominent after 2002, when he began publishing his weblog. From 2002 onwards, Cole became a widely recognized public intellectual. Foreign policy commented in 2004, Cole's transformation into a public intellectual embodies many of the dynamics that have heightened the impact of the blogosphere. He wanted to publicize his expertise, and he did so by attracting attention from elite members of the blogosphere. As Cole made waves within the virtual world, others in the real world began to take notice. His focus has primarily been Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Egypt and the Arab Spring. He has also occasionally written or given interviews about Israel and the Palestinians. Informed Comment Blog since 2002, Cole has published the blog Informed Comment, covering history, Middle East, South Asia, religious studies, and the war on terror. Blog entries include comments on widely reported articles in Western media, summaries of important articles from Arabic and Israeli news sources, and letters and discussions with both critics and supporters. The blog has won various awards. As of April 2006, the most prominent is the 2005 James Aronson Award for Social Justice Journalism from Hunter College. It has also received two 2004 COUFAX Awards, the Best Experts Blog and the Best Blog Post. It has since dropped off the list but its informed comment has been ranked as the 99th most popular blog on the internet by Technorati on October 21, 2006. Cole was a strong critic of the George W. Bush administration and is one of the most respected foreign policy commentators amongst left-wing bloggers. The July 28, 2006 issue of the Chronicle of Higher Education featured a story on Cole's blog and its role in his career. Following essays by several academic bloggers, Cole was given a chance to respond to the question of whether academics should risk career advancement by blogging. His reply, in part, was, The question is whether weblog commentary helps or damages an academic's career. It is a shameful question. Intellectuals should not be worrying about careers. The tenured among us least of all, despite the First Amendment, which only really protects one from the government. Most Americans who speak out can face sanctions from other institutions in society. Journalists are fired all the time for taking the wrong political stance. That is why most bloggers employed in the private sector are anonymous or started out trying to be so. In that same article, he was referred to as a public intellectual by Associate Professor of Culture and Communication at New York University Shiva Vidyanathan. Other activities. In 2004, the U.S. Senate Committee on Foreign Relations requested Cole's testimony at hearings to better understand the situation in Iraq. Cole is president and treasurer of the Global Americana Institute, a group of academics specializing in the Middle East who are working to translate the seminal works of American democracy into various Middle Eastern languages. The group's website states that the project will begin with a selected set of passages and essays by Thomas Jefferson on constitutional and governmental issues such as freedom of religion, the separation of powers, inalienable rights, the sovereignty of the people, and so forth. Cole is an avid science fiction fan and has a strong personal interest in human rights issues.